my weed brothers and sisters. Fucking the like, legendary fucking 70s and shit. Tupac here. Fucking uh, legendary drug dealer, fucking Casey over here and shit. Here to talk about uh, the biker DLC with none other than the cuck boy himself, the homecoming crasher. Good win. Yo, 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 I'm sorry, but you have to be dead. Okay, well, uh... <laughs> now that I have to re-fucking start this shit, because somebody's a fucking mug. Um... The biker deals. Really, you're not gonna fucking blow up, you shitty-ass fucking crates? I mean, we can do this... Uh... So yeah, we, we are can, here to uh We can talk do this the hard way if you want. want. Like I don't care. And our thoughts and initial reactions uh before what? and after. So Curtis, would you like to start us off with what you thought about the budget we'll see? Yes, before. I would love I would love to restate what I said in my initial recording. Um So the biker DLC been something that had been speculated and talked about for a while. And it happens on the main case. Um. Anyway, so it happens something we had definitely been talking about for a while and have been speculated by cuck boys like Mr. Boss. But. And this was brought up because of cuck boys who decided. Oh! The biker class gets no low. The fucking office people, or the businessmen, the uh, pimps, and all this get love, but not the bikers. So that's where it started. So, of course, biker gangs have been something that have been in GTA since the beginning of the game. And not just in this GTA, but in a lot of other ones, obviously, as well. And, you know, people wanted to be in a gang and do gang shit. Gang gang. And, um... So after this whole... Bam 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 went down. Um... So good at this Uh, no, but after all this, so... We've been definitely talking about it in different videos and, uh... I made a video before it got announced how I didn't really think it was going to be a good idea. Uh, me and Casey obviously talked about it in... I'm using proper England. Casey and I have talked about it in multiple different videos. And uh, I sent out a couple tweets about it as well. And... Now, of course these were not so much just... Us hating on bikes, even though I fucking don't like bikes in this fucking game. Except for the gargoyle and fucking like the ones that I own, which are actually cool. But most of them in the game are kind of trash. But the biker DLC, we both said was not going to be a good idea. Just they could have focused on something different to do that people would have used more. But after the biker DLC came out, <coughs> we got to play it. I think that it's a really good DLC. Why don't you say some shit, Casey? Uh, yeah, I do also think it's a good DLC, and it is a lot cheaper than the counterpart to it, I guess we'd say, uh, Final Fantasy. Yes. Now, I think what makes this DLC cool is that the biker DLC isn't so much something that Rockstar's gonna release a big trailer about. Uh, uh, no, well, but I think... No, they released the one the day. Oh. Yeah. yeah, but they're not gonna release a big trailer. And I think the reason they did it, I know that everybody's been talking about the trailer not coming out, like it's the biggest deal. But I think the reason they didn't do it is because the biker DLC is further adventures in finance and felony but cheaper. Like, yeah. let's be honest. 
you have to buy a clubhouse, which is the same as an office. The only real difference is that the clubhouse, I think you can do more with, and it's cheaper. An office, I guess there's a little bit more customization to what it looks like, um, based off of like your interior, you got a lot more options interior wise, but yeah. I mean, you get to park 10 motorcycles in your clubhouse yourself as like a personal place to store motorcycles and when you're in a club with somebody you can they can park their motorcycles inside so i think that both of those are cool things that they have done with that and but besides that it's the same thing clubhouse and offices one's just cheaper and you can do more with it and it's the same thing with your businesses it's the same as the warehouse except for you have to go get supplies to make whatever you're making, whether it's meth, or Reason. marijuana, or uh, cocaine, or the forged documents, and the money. So it just depends on what you're doing. And I think that's cool. And I mean, I think that if you look around in your building here, uh, your whatever it's fucking called. Clubhouse. No, 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 no. Your fucking. Your uh, your. Uh, business. Yeah, your business building shit. I think that it looks cooler. Inside of. Oh god. Inside of this year, like you can see the stuff. Like whether, again, depends on what you do, but you can see what they're doing. With well, the other ones, just crates sitting in there. So to be honest. Some of the things with DLC look even cooler than the Finance of Felix. Now, I think that overall this DLC, the only thing for me that's keeping this from being a better DLC than Finance of Felony is motorcycles. Do you think that that uh, would change if they had released the truck that you wanted? Slam in, lost the. Uh, I mean, it could impact it for sure. I'm not sure if it would like entirely change if I would think it's better. But I just, I personally like cars and trucks in the game better than motorcycles and. I think that this kind of shit wouldn't fucking happen. I can drive through there and hit into these fucking wooden fuckers and not get set flying for a mile and have to get up and run back on my motorcycle. Or in a car can just body the pups. So I mean it's just a driving preference I think really that I don't like my motorcycles. Like I don't really care, I think they look cool. But it's just every five seconds it seems like I'm fucking crashing a motorcycle. And when it comes to a car, I hit the same exact shit, obviously. I literally went from the middle of the Sandy Shores runway to the side and I fell off. It took like two feet. But I mean, I think that it's. Oh my fucking god. Why don't you say some shit about this? I'm getting triggered by bikes. Alright, uh, so, uh. Basically, Curtis is trying to entail this. It's a good DLC, you know, it's just <laughs> a little bit cheaper so that everybody can enjoy it. Um, you know, you just got the game or something and you buy a shark card just to start yourself off, and, you know, you can already buy a uh, clubhouse and a. Possibly a warehouse, you know. You have enough money. And you start off getting a motorcycle and you know you start off good. Um, unlike all the other DLCs that Rockstar has made, they're not this one is not as expensive as some of the ones that rival this. Uh, obviously <laughs> if you look at most of the things in this DLC, you could compare that if it was released sometime in 2015 and 2014, then yeah, I guess you could have 
made the assumption that it would have been less money, but still, for its time, it's pretty cheap, and I think could have could have been Yeah, I mean, I think if you look at the price of things that we've seen the total of, like, okay, let's take over the past. Because Rockstar didn't really get into releasing a lot of DLCs until this summer when we've seen the uh, further adventures of finance and felony and cunning stunts. Before those DLCs, even low riders were like a million dollars to fucking upgrade a rusty ass fucking car. Like, yeah. and then we look at what they did next with the finance and felony with. No, actually, we'll take this even back to uh, Executives and Other Criminals. Vehicles were really expensive in that DLC. A, a, a million dollars for, like, a convertible. Granted, it's a Rolls Royce, but still. No, actually, that wasn't the convertible one. That, that came out later. Yeah, just the hardtop one of that shit was, like, almost a million dollars. They had that one of the fucking, like... Yeah, that was the one with a couple of liveries on it. They had the uh, yachts that were, like, ten million dollars. And then we look ahead. That was kind of wild too, wasn't that in uh? Whatever that. They got it. We're up. That was in the uh. That one. The executives. No gotten gains. I don't know. It just. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking about the yacht. Um. It just makes it so that everybody can enjoy something or what they want to enjoy in the DLC. And you know, big YouTubers, uh, Mr. Boss, say that he enjoys the DLC because he has a lot of stuff that he can buy. But people don't have the money to buy that stuff. So in this DLC, you have more likely of a chance, instead of buying five shark cards and selling all of your cars, to maybe buy one shark card and maybe ponder Good. about selling your cars for some motorcycle upgrades, something like that. So you can buy almost everything you want. Yeah, I mean, let's... And of course, you can test it out. Now, I'm not here to, like, roast Mr. Boss like I typically do, but most people that play GTA aren't in the situation that he's in. He... Even though he doesn't technically buy his shark cards and he has the modded money, he could buy enough shark cards with the money that he gets on YouTube. And earn it back relatively quickly with the views that he gets on his next video. <coughs> Most people aren't in that situation that they can just spend $100 on an $8 million shark card. And... Even for that one person in the comment section, that's his case, they did uh, spend a million dollars. I mean, a hundred dollars to buy a lot of money from GTA. Buy a yacht. Um. A lot of it's cheaper. Like we look at the uh, the offices. Okay, the cheapest office was was that a million dollars? Uh, yeah, a million dollars. Okay, so the cheapest office was a million. The most expensive was four million. Okay, we look at this DLC here. And I think that what's different compared to what you buy with this, though, is that all of the offices pretty much do the same thing. Whether you want an office in the city or you want an office out in Blaine County, they do the exact same thing. Now, I'm not saying the offices don't, but the offices, I think there's more with it, like, hey, I own the Maze Bank, which I do, uh, but... You know, I think there's more to it than people saying, I want to own the maze bank, than people saying, I want to own a building on the fucking beach. Which, I mean, it's still cool. No, actually, it's not even in the beach. It's like 
towards the middle of the city. Like, I think there's a, more of a draw to that, where people will may, maybe say, like, I bought the cheapest one, which is the one at the fucking gas station, and I yeah. honestly didn't see one that I thought would be cooler than it, except for the one that is on, or right down near Vespucci Beach. That's the only other one that I thought, hmm, I'd buy that. But, in all honesty, I don't really need it. I, I sort of like want to be up in Blaine County. It has that Blaine County feel for this DLC. Yeah. And so I think there's less of the draw to want the super expensive building. Of course, if you have the money to, then I don't know why you wouldn't necessarily do it. But then again, I had enough money to buy a lot of the stuff too, and I didn't do it. Yo, I got my supplies full again. Um, so, I mean, I think that's the thing. You can do it for cheaper. And we haven't sold anything yet. But I think that it looks like you might actually make a little bit more money off of it. <coughs> yeah, of course, in, like, a small... Um full warehouse we're talking not large full warehouse so you can make like 16 million dollars yeah we're just talking because neither one of us had the biggest or have the biggest warehouse we each have uh what we have you got one small one big right or one medium right yep that's the, so we each have one small one medium warehouse where for this here it's all the same size so i think the price um, let's actually show where Casey's location is if you guys want to see that. Because I think it's in a really cool spot. Like, he's got a good location over here. He's got nice picnic tables here. And he's and right over there. The ammunition chilling. Actually, speaking yeah. about the ammunition, I have to buy some more pipe bombs. I'm sure I buy more sticky bombs. Yeah, but, um... I think that it's pretty cool that you can uh, do all this stuff. And I mean, we haven't seen the prices yet because it takes a little bit more time to, I think, build it up. But we did find out, which is something useful for you guys, that the stuff still increases or gets produced even when you're not in Freeman. Yeah, so you could be doing a mission. I think you could be in story mode, and it still will be uh, doing it. So if you want to do a playlist with your friends. Yo, it's got body um, by the truck. You can do that, and then you can come back, and your warehouse will be, or your business will be completely empty, and you will have uh, maybe enough money to sell it. I don't know. Yeah, and I mean. It does go up generally quickly. I stayed in uh, online for about three hours, just driving around, having some fun. I mean, three hours is a long time, but I was just chilling for like three hours. My money went up from, I think it was either seven or 10,000 to like 40. Yeah. <laughs> and actually in two, in two hours in the playlist, Casey went up from, what were you, like 12 to 55? 10. 10? 10 to 55? Yeah. So you went up by a lot as well. <coughs> so, you know, it all depends on how much you actually put into the place. It also helps if you buy um, more to keep you busy. You know, you can go to a dope farm to the weed farm to the money farm, you know, back and forth. So now we went over our thoughts and stuff about it. So what do you think that, or what do you mostly like about, it's hard to ask this question. Uh, What's my favorite thing about the DLC? Things? Yeah. Um, i probably say... I don't know, I really do actually like a lot of things. I think that I just like the uh, the clubhouse and the, uh, the buildings with the stuff in it. 
of... I'm just gonna call them warehouses. The new warehouses. <laughs> I think I like those, and I sort of like the customizations on the, uh, some of the motorcycles. It's pretty cool. But I didn't think the clubhouses are cool because the fact that they just have a mod shop right in there, and you don't have to go to some fancy motorcycle mod shop, which I think is actually a better alternative than if they did introduce a motorcycle mod shop, like people originally thought. Yeah. Not that we'd see another Benny's, or, but I think it's better because you can just be chilling at your area instead of having to go to all one location. And I do like about the clubhouse is the fact that if we're in the same club, we can both bring our motorcycles inside. I like that. So yeah. if you're under attack from somebody in a club, one of you have to leave your motorcycle outside and run in, and then the only the leader can bring it in. Everybody can bring everything in. So that's really, I think, a cool idea. So, uh... I think I'm gonna wrap the video up here. Well, what'd you like about it? You asked me what I liked. Oh, well. I just like the sole purpose of the DLC, you know? It, it's a good concept. Um, and it gives everybody a chance to, you know, have their own gang and uh, just drive around and have fun with their friends. I mean,. I do think if they release a map expansion DLC that they should do the same thing for East Coast and West Coast, just my thought and opinion, but, uh, yeah, something like that. Alright, so, to wrap it up, I do have one more question, but I do want to make a statement saying, the fact is, is that, on a level of impressive, I would put this relatively high for the fact that most DLCs, we enter being hyped about it. You know, Finance and Felony and Cunning Stunts. Let's take those for example, the last two DLCs. Weren't those the first two that you experienced on Next Gen as well? Mm hmm So going into those DLCs, they were both really hyped DLCs. Rockstar hadn't released a DLC in a couple months. It was Case's first DLCs on Next Gen. And they were really hyped. But I think going into this one here, we had a mindset of it's not going to be good. Which makes it more impressive by the fact that it got us to go from saying Kaze said he wasn't even considering making a biker DLC video a couple days before it came out. And to the fact that we're sitting here saying so many positive things about a biker DLC is not where I thought I would have been even before I got home and recorded that video. I thought this DLC is going to be trash. I'm just going to buy a clubhouse just for dank memes. But the fact that there was legit something that is enjoyable, like this, is impressive. But my final question that I will answer, and Casey will answer, before we end this video, is... You've now seen three DLCs on Next Gen, right? I've experienced every DLC on Next Gen. And the question is, what should be the next DLC? that Rockstar creates? If they're taking more uh, suggestions well, from the community? I feel like map expansion should be next. Obviously, I feel like they should be given a lot more time to work on a map expansion. They clearly might have been working on it already. But, As we've uh, seen with the potential files from Liberty City. Yeah. But, um... And then, as I said before, I feel like they should incorporate this into Liberty City but instead of having a motorcycle game, you have East Side West Side game. So here you have West Side, and the city is East Side. What side would you pick? I would probably pick East Side. East Side, interesting. Why do you go into I mean, the I East Coast? I would pick coast? West Side because uh, Tupac ain't dead, but um, yeah. you gotta pick West Coast. Gotta represent LA. Personally. I think that it would be cool to see a map expansion uh, like that, which I've said before would be a cool thing. I think Liberty City, but I don't think maybe Liberty City would be the best option. Uh, Liberty City has been a city many times in GTA. I think it would be cool if they had it. Uh... Now, I do think Liberty City would be the most likely one they would add because they could just 
they have a better chance of already having it made because the models for GTA 4 are very similar to what they have for GTA 5. But I think that it'd be cool to see San Fierro and Los Venturas come back from GTA San Andreas consider the areas around here with being Las Vegas and San Francisco they're close to Los Angeles so that'd be cool to have all three of those cities back but a Liberty City map expansion would be cool but personally I think that one of the other DLCs the community has been uh, wanting has been the sort of like the police DLC where you can be a cop and um, now, do I think that maybe releasing a police DLC at this current moment would be the best idea? Um, I don't know if they want to do it in the sense of the things that have gone on in recent months and couple years with things with the cops. I don't know if that would be like something that they would necessarily want to add in to the game for that reason. But I think aside from the things that have gone down with the police, I think that that DLC would be something that would be interesting to see in the game. Now again, I feel like that they wouldn't maybe want to do that DLC because of the uh, things that have happened with police with the stuff that happened really great at describing, yeah. but everybody knows what I'm talking about. And I don't know if that would be the best time for them to release it with the some people's feelings towards the police. I don't know yeah. if that would necessarily bring well, positive light to the game, but I think that it would still be something cool to do where you could be a cop and arrest somebody for speeding or having illegal drugs in their car or something like that, and you can be a cop online. That's really cool. And I mean, that's something we both enjoy uh, making our own things of being cops, as we've both done many times in the game. So I think yeah. that would be well, cool. Um, yeah, I gotta balance, because it is 1040. Is it really? But, uh, Shit. Yeah. <laughs> But uh, thank you all so much for watching this biker review, biker DLC review. And I uh, hope you guys stay tuned to watch more of me and Chris's epic content. Um, Chris, got anything else to add? It's not like 60 minutes long? No, I'll do my intro when you're done. Uh, outro. Uh, outro. Au revoir. Alright, so with that, many cool things we definitely talked about um, with potential future DLCs we'd like to see and our thoughts of the Biker DLC after it. Now make sure you guys do go check out some of the cool videos that are coming up on this channel this weekend. We are continuing our Rocket League season that we started on Wednesday. We are doing the fourth chase race in our... NASCAR Chase for the Sprint Cup Series. That will be on Saturday this week instead of Sunday because the race is a Saturday night race. And on Sunday, we do episode number 10 of our NASCAR Heat Evolution full season championship. And also we will continue and wrap that championship up next week. So with that, thank you all for watching. And we will see you guys in the next video.